Hello children, so we have been saying about the five senses and the five sense organs, right? So we are learning the chapter 2, Sensing Around. So you can see senses on one side and the sense organs on the other side in the picture. So what are the senses? Sense of sight, sense of taste, sense of smell, sense of hearing, sense of touch. So these are called senses. And what are these? They are called sense organs. Sense organs are eyes, ears, nose, tongue and skin. So let's see what does the sense organs do. So sense organs will give the aware of the things happening around us. So it will tell you what is going around you when, for example, when someone calls your name, you immediately turn around and look into the direction where you heard that voice or the sound. So this awareness is given by the sense organ ears. Likewise, when something is burning in the place where you are, your sense organ knows will detect and give you the awareness that something is burning in your place so that you have to go and look into it. That's how when you see something or taste something or touch something, it will tell you or, or it will give you that awareness of what's going on around you. So we hear, smell, feel and taste with the help of our sense organs. I already told about you about this cerebrum which is a part in the brain so this part in the brain which it controls all the senses like taste smell touch sight and hearing now we'll see how the information is passed into the body of human like sense organs will send the message to the brain and the brain will send back the message to the body parts to react so how is it that the information are sent from the sense organs to the brain yes it is sent through what is called nerves so the sense organ will send the information or the communication signal to the brain through what is called nerves so let me tell you first about the nerves. Nerves are like wire-like structures. You know, you can see here the nerves which are like wire-like structures which is covering all over your body and the spinal cord and also the brain. So these all together make up what is called a nervous system. These all will work together to transform the information, to transfer the information from one part to the another, so the body will react accordingly to the brain's command. For example, when you touch something like water, so here if you see the sense of touch is involved by the sense organ skin. So I told you nerves are present everywhere around or all over your body. So the nerves in the skin will get the information from the uh, skin and it will send it to the brain. So brain then process the information then send back the response or the communication signal of what activity that is done by the sense organ through the nerves back again and tell you and and from the nerves it is set to, sent to the body parts so that the body part will react accordingly so when you touch something the information or the signal from the sense organ is sent through the nerves and to the brain and the brain process it and sends back the signal through the other nerves to the body parts to react for example here you can see a boy touching a hot muck. Yes? So what happens? The skin that is contacting with the hot muck, now it will send the information through the nerves that is present in the skin. And that information will be carried by the nerves and it will be sent through the, to the brain. And the brain will now process the information and tell what you are 
touching or what activity you are doing and send back the signal or the com information through the other nerves uh, and to the body parts so that the body will react like whether to touch or to take away your hand or to avoid anything like that so likewise when you touch something cold or when you when you are touching something sharp tools like nails or knife so immediately the brain will give the command to the body parts through the nerves to react accordingly so one way the sense organs are really keeping us safe now let's see about each sense organ the first one is sense of sight which involves the sense organ eyes so the eye sees something and send a message to the brain and the brain tells us what we are seeing yes exactly so we see different objects with different color size and shape right so we cannot see anything in the dark we can see everything with the light only so we need light to fall on the object or things for us to see is it so here in this picture if you see there is a picture of tree and the light ray is falling on the tree so the light ray which is falling on the tree now the light which is falling on the tree will get entered into the eyes which is watching so it will form a image on the sense organ eye which is watching and this information will be sent to the nerves which is in the eye so it will carry the information sent by the sense organ eye and it will send it to the brain now you can see the brain is processing the information of what you are seeing it is telling that you are watching something called the tree and this will send back the information to the nerves other nerves to the body parts and tell the body parts to react accordingly so this is about the sense of sight so apart from this you have something called eyelids over your eyes you blink right by opening and closing your eyes these eyelids protect your eyes and also to express any feelings or anything you express through your eyes so these tears in your eyes will moist your eyes and protects your eyes now let's see about the sense of hearing so we have two ears that helps us to hear different sounds right now i would like to tell you about the two important parts of the ears one is outer ear and the inner ear what you touch outside and feel that is your outer ear and the what is inside your ear your that part is what you say it as inner ears okay so what they do they carry the sound to the brain so how do they do it when you make any sound the sound will vibrate in the air how i believe all would have experienced the phone vibration mode yes such vibrations will be found in the air when you make any sound those sound vibrations in the air then goes as sound waves into the ears have you seen waves in the beach like that these sound vibrations will go into the ears as sound waves then those sound waves will taken by the inner ear and then it reaches to different parts of the ears then finally the nerves will take the information from the sense organ ears and will send it to the brain now the brain will interpret will know what sound is what, what is making the sound and where the sound is coming from so this is how the sense organ ears and the sense of hearing will work now let's see about the sense of smell 
where sense organ nose is involved so many things gives of smell scent and odors odors means smell it can be a good smell or a bad smell these travel through the air the nose receives these smells the brain tells us if the smells are pleasant or not yes we can smell different things that is around us like flowers it will give you pleasant smell when you go near the garbage it will give you unpleasant smell right so what does it tells about so these like how you saw the eyes and ears these smells will be taken into the nose and from the nose it will be taken by the uh, cells that is present in the nose like nerves there are cells that is present in the nose okay they are called receptor cells they are actually like the nerves only so they will take the information and give it to the brain and the brain will process it and tell you what you are smelling whether you are smelling pleasant or not and we also saw about the seven types of smell yes we have sense of smell which is capable of identifying seven types of sensations camphor camphor you, uh, you would have seen in pujas and in temples they use it they burn it and show it before uh, the god yes and then musk musk is somewhat like a scent smell a sort of scent smell and flower we know flower we we have seen the smell of flowers right and also mint we say pudina right in tamil we say pudina so even that smell is a kind of different smell right and ether is a kind of uh, chemical solution it also has a pleasant smell acrid acrid means it's a kind of bitter or a pungent smell uh when you cut the onions for example th- the smell which you get that time the smell which you detect that time that smell will come under the sensation called acrid okay such sort of smell you call it as acrid sort of sensation okay and the next thing is putrid putrid is a sort of uh dirty smell or a rotten smell when you leave something like vegetables or fruits for men some days and it will get spoiled right and when you go and smell them it will get decayed that time and give you the rotten smell so such sort of smell will come under putrid so these are the seven types of sensations where the sense organ nose will identify capable of identifying next the sense of taste which involves the sense organ tongue so the tongue helps us to taste different things right the tongue is covered with tiny pores pores means holes or i can say taste buds we identify different tastes like bitter sour sweet and salty which you see here so these are called taste buds so these helps us to identify different tastes and also to tell you more about the sense of taste first let me tell you about the tongue tongue is a muscular organ muscular organ means something soft and strong okay that is what you call it as muscular organ and the tongue is present in the oral cavity oral cavity means it includes your cheeks your lips your teeth and your tongue this all together you call it as oral cavity so when i ask you where is the tongue present you must tell me tongue is present in the oral cavity inside the oral cavity oral cavity means it includes the cheeks lips teeth and the tongue so we can taste different things like whether it is crunchy creamy hot or cold is it so the tongue helps us to taste different things and like nose i told you there are receptor cells 
in the tongue receptor cells i will give all those uh, words in your dictation words and explain you even more so these receptor cells that is present in the tongue will send the information to the brain and the brain will process the information and tell you and tell you what you are tasting so like nerves these receptor cells also does the same work like the nerves do so this is how the sense organ tongue and the sense of taste works finally the sense of touch so skin helps us to touch and feel the objects right so under the surface of the skin if you see there are nerves which are running so you can see it in this picture these are the nerves so these are the nerve endings the end of the nerves the end of the nerves you can see these are the nerves that are running these are the ends of the nerves so what these nerves will do so when you touch something under the surface of the skin these nerves will carry the information and send it to the brain and tell you and the brain will process the information and tell you whether you are touching something hot cold or whether you're feeling any pressure pain or whether you're touching something hard or soft or rough or smooth so these sensations are given by the brain so these information are sent from the skin to the nerves and from the nerves to the brain and the brain sends back the information through the nerves and tell the body parts to react so when you're uh, uh, standing under the hot sun your entire body your skin is covered all over your body right so your entire body feels the hot yes it gives the sensation of hot and likewise when you're feeling cold or when you are pricked with something with the sharp tools so this gives such a sensation of touch so finally i would like to tell you about good touch and the bad touch the touch that makes you feel comfortable yes when your uh, mother or your father or your brothers or sisters whom uh, they love so truly they hug you they pamper you you feel very comfortable under them right you feel the love and warmth of your mother's touch your father's touch and so on so such good touch you can have it but th- on the other side there are also bad touch that will feel make you feel uncomfortable afraid and unsafe so any stranger or the person who or uh, whom you don't know if they are going to reach you and going to touch you which you feel uncomfortable and you feel somewhat scarier and you don't feel like you are in safety so such touch will come under something called bad touch so if you come across such bad touch by the persons in a unfriendly way immediately you are supposed to tell your parents or elders at home they will take care of you they will understand you so children i hope you understood about the good touch and the bad touch so these are the things we learned today about the five senses and five so- sense organs and the and about the good touch and the bad touch so thank you children